Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale, and today I have a trunk show of quilts from the book Charmed by Moda Bake Shop. You might be familiar with the Moda Bake Shop designers. They use Moda's Fabrics pre-cuts to design their quilts, and this book is no different. It focuses on a five-inch charm pack. This little pack has 42 five-inch squares, and it's a great way to collect all of the fabrics in a collection. You get at least one of each, and sometimes you get two of each, and they come in a variety of things. This pack has mostly just reds and whites in its collection, and this pack has, you can see, sort of a variety of colors throughout. So if you love charm packs, this book has great patterns for you. The first quilt in the book is Cobblestones by Ann Weens, and you can see sort of a positive negative effect she's got going here. Maybe you see the colored four points of this block, but you also see here the same design emerges in white, and that's really just accomplished by straight set. It's a secondary design where these blocks come together in the corners, and that's Cobblestones by Ann Weens. <clears throat> Next up, this quilt is called North, South, East, West and designer Lisa Jo Giradot says that she gets lost driving to her family member's house. Thank goodness for the GPS on her phone. So she designed this. It's lots of flying geese headed in different directions and turning the blocks is what creates that special pattern when you put them together. So that's north, south, east, west. Designer Susan Vaughn loves a balsam fur wreath for her front door at the holidays. So she designed this wall hanging or table topper, and you can sort of see that she's mimicked that wreath design with pinwheels in the center. It'd be perfect for a holiday table topper. A lovely design, pinwheel wreaths. <clears throat> this next one is the cover quilt for the book, and it's called Flutter By. And it is by designer Jen Daly. And you certainly won't get bored making all the different rows of blocks here, the hearts, the butterflies. Such a cute little design in a way to showcase all the fabrics that come in a charm pack and use them to their best advantage. The next quilt is called Sentimentally Yours. And it's by designer Sharla Krenzel. <clears throat> so you sort of see an Irish chain emerging here with these blocks, but they get interrupted here, and you can see the shape of a heart, thus the name. So there are two hearts that appear in the center of each of those Irish chains. They're, it's two easy to sew blocks, and they come together to make those hearts um, and combine it with a chain block. Charming Pots by Nicola Dodd is this cute little table runner. And what I love about this, in addition to its charming design, is that she's turned the pots right side up and the other way so that no matter where you're sitting at the table, you've got a great view of these cute little flower pots from your seat. So everybody can enjoy it. It's not one directional. Speaking of charming, this quilt is called Charming Stars. And it's by designer Lisa Alexander. And she suggests choosing a charm pack where you have sort of an equal number of lights and darks as she did here. So I showed you this one charm pack that was mostly reds and whites. This was probably a similar charm pack with blues and whites. So she used the darks and alternated it with the lights and then has one uh, setting background fabric and one for the points of the stars. So those dark stars really pop out, the light ones shimmer, and you create a very homogeneous quilt top. This is called Charming Stars. Designer Michelle Coons reminds us that you shouldn't be afraid to stray off the beaten path. Sometimes the most exciting things happen when you do. So she created her quilt, Strolling Pathways, which everything sort of runs this direction until you get to that center motif and it runs the opposite direction. And that was her inspiration for naming her quilt Strolling Pathways as it takes that turn in the center. And again, a great way to showcase all those beautiful fabrics that come in your charm pack. Radiate by Christine Weld does just that. It radiates out from the center. 
and she's got high and low contrast in her units that she's putting together those half square triangle units and then she also used a quadrant technique to assemble it so that it's pretty easy for you to put together. This next little cutie is from designer Tammy Vonderschmidt and it's called All Boxed In. It looks challenging, but it's really just shoe fly box. So you can see if I set it on point, that shoe fly block emerge. And they have extra plump centers in the middle. She chose those orange pieces to be the plump centers of her shoe fly blocks. She did them in two colorways and set them on point for a really cute quilt called All Boxed In. Pretty posies by designer Melissa Corey. Uses grays as the background along with coral pinks and a pop of gold to make these patchwork flowers. And I absolutely love them. And she's got a clever way that she offsets them just slightly so that they're not all lined up as you go across the row, which I think adds another element of interest to the quilt overall. Makes those flowers look like they're just sort of scattered throughout. Pretty posies. Indeed they are. And last but certainly not least, <clears throat> shoe fly spinners. Now shoe fly blocks typically have uh, corners and a center that are the same size. And in this case, uh, designer Jessica Dayon skinnied up the centers to make uh, a different look for her shoe fly block and then added these frames around the outside, which I think is a really nice look in these tiny little uh, blocks along the outside border to add interest as well and make sure you use up all of your charm pack. So these are all quilts from Charmed by Moda Bake Shop. It's a dozen delightful charm pack quilts. Look for it wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com.